the SoftTube PE1C and ME1B are digital emulations or models of the TubeTech Poltec style program equalizer shown here at the top and the TubeTech mid-range equalizer shown here at the bottom. These SoftTube plugins come in VST, VST3, audio units, AAX native, AAX DSP, and R2S plugin formats. I'm going to be demonstrating the sound features and controls of these plugins by processing an acoustic guitar track. I'm using these plugins together because I find that they complement each other really well and are also typically used together. To begin with, I'll bypass the plugins so you can hear what the acoustic guitar sounds like without the plugins doing any processing. Along the way, what I'll do is activate or enable the plugins so you can hear without even doing any boosting or cutting, these plugins are imposing some analog color, analog flavor to the signal. So it's not passing the signal through completely clean, but SoftTube has actually modeled the entire signal flow going through the analog hardware, including what the signal sounds like passing through the unit without any boosting or cutting. So that right there is a very subtle thing that the plugins are doing, but it is doing something that's very musical and sounds nice and typical of what you would find if you passed a signal through the analog hardware. I have to commend Soft2 for going above and beyond and not just modeling the EQ curves, but modeling the full signal path of these hardware units. Next, let me get into the controls of the different equalizers. I'll start with the Poltec style PE1C. If you're not familiar with Poltec style EQs, they're a little bit different than your typical equalizer. To begin with, you just have a low frequency section and a high frequency section. Now you have boosting and cutting of each of these sections, or boost and attenuation. For the low frequency, these three knobs work together. You have a frequency selection of 20 hertz, 30 hertz, 60 hertz, and 100 hertz. Now how it works is you can actually boost and attenuate at the same frequency. The way that it works out is that the boost frequency is actually a little bit lower than maybe 60 hertz if that's what you have selected. Attenuation, the frequency has a broader Q and goes a little bit higher than 60 hertz. So what happens is you boost around 60 hertz but at the same time have a, a dip in the frequency above 60 right above 60 Hertz so this is great for things like the kick drum where you want to boost the low frequencies but you also want to cut a little bit above those um, depending on which frequency you select I should mention that the boost is a low shelf that again is a little bit below the frequency and the uh, attenuation then is a, a different shelf that that's a little bit higher above in frequency so what I'll do is play you back the acoustic guitar and play around with these and you can hopefully be able to hear how they work together or kind of work against each other. low shelf uh, sounds very smooth whether you're boosting or attenuating I'm gonna go ahead for this acoustic guitar and just uh, set it right now to attenuate some of the low frequencies to cut out some of the the muddiness in my signal next you have the high frequency boost in this section the boost bandwidth and high frequency knobs are the ones that are working together the attenuation is a little bit separate so the boost knob is a peaking style EQ. So you had a shelf over here, the boost right here is peaking. 
and you can select the bandwidth from sharp to broad here and then select the frequency again these curves sound very smooth I'll play it back and then demonstrate it High frequency selection goes from 1k up to about 16k and uh, it sounds very uh, very again very smooth very musical I've got it set around here at 3k and boosting a little bit I like how that uh, peaking equalizer sounds the attenuation is a is a high shelf and you can select between 5k 10k and then around uh, 20k I'll play it back and see if I can uh, if I like cutting out any of the high frequencies Five K was too dark. Maybe I'll just attenuate a little bit above ten K. Finally, you have the output gain. If you need to, if you find that you're doing a lot of boosting, might maybe you want to back it off a little bit so you're not clipping. Or if you're doing a lot of cutting, maybe you need to to boost it back up. So the output gain um, is just to control the output volume. Next, let me move on to the ME1B or the mid range equalizer. Here you have a uh, low mid basically, and that's a peak. Then you have a mid frequency dip, and then a um, kind of a high mid frequency peaking filter. So I'll play these back and just get, give you an idea how to hear them. These are more conventional style peaking filters that you would uh, not have to worry about, you know, boosting and attenuating at the same frequency, um, although you can do that if you want between some of these. I find that you can get away with boosting a fair amount of dB without the equalization starting to sound harsh or brittle or anything like that that are typical things of low quality digital equalizers. But again, Softtube has done a great job with these plugins, making them sound very smooth and very usable even if you need to do a lot of boosting or cutting. With that being said, you know, these plugins complement each other really well. They also come part of the Tube Tech Classic channel if you're interested in getting them together as a bundle and also part of the with a that comes with a compressor